Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. In this upload, I'd like to demonstrate to you how you can assist your children, particularly with their geometry. We're going to look at the function called pi, which generally looks like that symbol there. And we'll see how it can be used in Excel to calculate the area of a circle how we can use the raising of a number to a power in calculating the area of a square and also how we calculate the area in a rectangle and lastly we'll be looking at triangles how do I create and calculate the area of a triangle first of all let's look at pi it's calculated as I mentioned by dividing the circumference of a circle by its diameter it's often recognised in the following form, I'm sure you've heard it before at some stage, pi r squared, that one there, where r is the radius of the circle. As we'll see, the radius is half the diameter. In Excel, pi is shown by default to 15 decimal places, but its common value is usually shown as 3.14. And I'll also show you how to use the round function to set a chosen number of decimal places for the area of the circle. Note that the function written as equal pi does not require arguments but it does require of course the open and the close brackets. So having looked at the background of pi let's look at how I can use it to calculate the area of a circle. Now this particular circle has a midpoint there it has a diameter of 10 and the diameter is measured from one side to the other passing through the midpoint. We use the diameter measure to measure the circumference, that is the distance around the circle. The radius is exactly half the diameter and we use the radius to measure the area of the circle. So in this case we have a radius of 5 and the formula that I have typed in here is equal round, open a bracket, pi open and close a bracket multiplied by what's in C5 that is the radius then a karat sign held holding down the shift key and pressing the number 6 in the number row raises the number to a power so in this case I've said raise what's in C5 to the power of 2 and then the last number is the number of decimal points that I require so let's delete it and we'll write it again in this particular cell equal round open a bracket pi open and close a bracket multiplied by what is in c5 raised to the power of 2 comma 2 close the bracket, control enter and there is the area of my circle 78.54. The diameter of 10 is used in the formula to calculate the circumference by simply multiplying pi by what is in C8 which is the diameter. So the circumference of that circle is very simply 31.42 pi multiplied by the diameter so nothing tricky about it it's just a matter of knowing how pi works let's look at squares and rectangles here I have a rectangle just get rid of that figure a, recta a rectangle over here uh, one side is 30 the other is 10 and here I have a square where the sides are both 10 so what I could say is that the area of the square is equal to what is in C13 raised to the power of 2. In other words, square that number because we calculate the um, area of a square by multiplying the two sides. Control enter tells me that the area is 100. The sides of the rectangle are 30 and 10. 
multiplying the two together equal G13 multiplied by G14 uh, my apologies H13 so now when I control enter my answer is 300 but you can see here in calculating the area of the square I was able to use the power symbol the karat shift and six let's look at triangles the area of a triangle can be found by multiplying the height by the base and then dividing your answer by two now in this triangle the base is 12 the height is 10 and the formula will be equal to D12 multiplied by D13 divided by 2. So the area of that particular triangle is 60. Here's another one where the base is 14, the height is 8, You'll notice that this is an irregular triangle, but in both triangles, the height has been measured from the apex of the triangle, the top peak, down to the base with a straight line, a 90 degree straight line. And the area will be equal that multiplied by that and divided by 2. So the area of that triangle is 56. Hopefully you find this handy to guide your kids along the geometric path in their mathematics. The understanding of pi is quite important and they'll certainly use that uh, function in their uh, mathematical uh, progress as they progress up through classes at school. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.